Okay, so uh, this is a little code uh, challenge discussion. So anybody uh, who has an idea on how to how it can be improved, how it can be better, and also anybody who want to want to share their uh, understanding of the questions and also want to work out for their solution. Or anybody else, you can just raise your hand and maybe I can just, uh, if you can talk, maybe I can start from uh, Abraham and you can uh, go down in the list. Maybe Abraham, if you uh, can talk. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, uh, about the challenge, uh, some of them are good, but some others are very challenging. And, uh, yeah, and analyzing the space and time complexity was a bit harder, like it, it, it gives some, uh, give us some challenge. Uh, my approach was uh, mostly it's a uh, try and error approach. I try to understand uh, the problem at first in terms and then try to give an optimal solution for 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 for, for the for that space challenge. Yeah, and uh, yeah, there's a couple timer feature, but uh, I'm not using it that much. I try to estimate my 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 uh, my my the duration that I took or the time I took and return it on the equations. Yeah, and if there are some places, if there's anything you'd like me to share, you can ask me though. Okay. Uh... Okay, uh, so I can go next to Abu Bakr maybe, and thank you Abraham for sharing your understanding. And maybe Abraham, a follow-up question for you would be, how can it be improved in order to help you guys uh, understand uh, data structure and algorithm in a more comprehensive way? So if you have any idea, any suggestions, you are very welcome. Yeah, I think the materials are really great. The the, the, the reading materials that, that they gave at uh, it gave me at least a comprehensive understanding of the data structure and algorithm. One thing for improvement maybe more and more challenges related to our our topic could be like, like in several uh, difficulty level. Uh, I think if, if if there are more or more challenge more challenges or like good problems, I think it would be great on the topic. Okay, what kind of problems are you thinking? Maybe the level has to be increased, or maybe uh, you are saying domain specific challenges? Uh, yes, I think uh, there are about three or four, three, three, uh, three simple challenges. I think we have like 10 or maybe eight challenges, or maybe five, like we would practice more. Uh, of course, we can go through our own through the course challenge, but it's, uh, when there is something we should do from your science, we 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 tend to do it. Uh, uh, more like uh, we are encouraged to do it more like when it's written down on on, on the document, on the document, and of course it could be a meeting, and our challenge could be also added. Okay, uh, we will uh, definitely take that into consideration. Uh, I think Abdraman has a question, so Abdraman, you can go on. Uh, okay, uh, uh, I was asking about how I can I, I can learn from uh, from lead code. Uh, for me, um, my background is not software, so I have. Uh, a basic knowledge of uh, programming language so some some question i can i can solve by the knowledge i have but uh, what if i stuck and i stuck to with uh, questions that uh, i couldn't solve so what is the best way that i can solve the question and at the same time learning and uh, i don't know how to say it uh, i mean i don't to see the answer directly, but I want to think how I can achieve the answer. So how I can how I can do this? Okay, uh, so Abraham, if uh, maybe you can just uh, Google 
simple questions or you can start from the simple questions and you for from the easiest one so for example maybe you can start from computing uh, length of an array so now you understand how to compute the length of an array and the next would be to uh, to solve another challenge like maybe uh, uh, to get the median of an array so to start from really really simple problems and you'll find it in lit code so like very big a very beginner maybe let me if i can find it let me just share the link so i, I suggest uh, you you go through uh, you, you can google and like to you can start from uh lead code or you can start from youtube or we can start from the shared resources so now you get to understand firstly try to understand data structures in python so how to manipulate a string how to manipulate an array and how to manipulate a dictionary so now when after you understand these concepts moving on to any problem would be much easier so for example let's say so to, in order to sort an array, an array or a, a list in Python, you need to have the basic knowledge of how to manipulate an array. And also in order for in order to uh, use hash map or dictionaries in Python, you, you need to know how to manipulate and how to uh, how to understand that that concept. Maybe I think. Uh, Uh, this ones like I there is based on topics but not with a difficulty but you can find a uh, few resources on uh, YouTube or or uh, maybe in Google or some some ready trades you, you might find those links but uh, as I've said start from the actual really uh, a really big in our challenge like try to understand first the data structure and then try to solve simple problems yeah maybe yeah wonder uh, also gigs for gigs also you can use uh coding games you can use hacker rank yeah maybe coding game is a good resource let me just share the link Just share the uh, coding game link. Yeah, maybe uh, try coding game. Uh, if that doesn't work, maybe try. You can try. Uh, you can try free code camp. You you can try free code camp and let me just share you with the free code camps. One there is a. Uh, there is a, a challenge called uh, Project Euler, so you can start from that. Let me just share you that link. So uh, you can, uh, the, there is a, a topic or a, a course called Prepare for the Developer Interview uh, in Free Code Camp, so you can use that. And there are a few. Uh, Few different, few different, uh, somehow curriculum. So you can try those two. So is that uh, clear? I'll draw. Sorry, uh, it's breaking here. I can't. I couldn't hear the last thing you said. Okay, I just mentioned uh, three code camps, and uh, you can start from those resources. And I just asked you if that was clear. Yeah, yeah, it's clear. Thank you. Okay, so uh, anybody else who want to share their ideas, what was uh, what would 
what what kind of difficulties that you have faced and also what were the challenge and what can be improved. Okay, uh, So for me, the challenge was good. And some of the challenges that were given to us, uh, I already did them, but uh, I tried to make them better, maybe to reduce the time. And also I learned about, I think, the name was hash table, and I used the, to solve some of the problem. But I have one question. Uh, the way mo most of uh, the lead code challenge, the way I, uh, I do it is uh, I read the question and I will go to uh, Google Colab and it's more of like a try and error. And once I've seen a function that will work for our case, I will come back and copy uh, that code. But uh, after I submit those challenge and and if I come back in a week or in a month, uh, I will forget how I actually solve that challenge. Is there any practice uh, I should do? And other than that, I think uh, I believe most of the jobs require uh, algorithms. So it should be motivated for us to do more lead code challenge. And I think it would be better for us if we get into in a habit of doing at least one lead code challenge per day. Yeah, uh, that was for everyone. So solving at least one challenge a day will uh, increase uh, your skill in, in solving problems. And go, going back to Johannes' question, so now, uh, so there is, I think there is a saying, when I write the code, me only me and God understood understood it. But after a week, only God God uh, understand the code. So now you have to write a comment for every logic you have, you apply. So write uh, if you can do the flow, do a flowchart, maybe like a simple text based flowchart. So from this step I go to this step and. The input would be this, and I will alter the input in in this way, and try to uh, write down your understanding in a way that you'll uh, somehow you would get what you were doing after a week, after two weeks, after two months, or after three months. You don't have to go through the code in anymore. You just read the simple comment and the simple and, and or the simple text text based flowchart, and you'll understand what. What was it? What was your thought process, and what what you were thinking? I think that approach will fix this problem. Okay. Anybody else? So, who wants to share uh, their understanding on the problems, or how they approach each problem and how they solve? Uh, maybe one or two problems. If anybody is interested to present, you can, but uh, I think from uh, starting from next week, we will start, uh, maybe we will try to start presentation so so that you guys will have, the, you, you, you'll increase your skill of communication in order, while you are explaining your code, you'll, uh, will get used to explaining your approach in an, in, in an easy manner. So it will be a great practice for you guys. I think starting from next week, maybe we will uh, implement that part. For now, uh, since uh, it's the first time, I'll just, uh, it will be on voluntary basis, but for starting from next week, Everybody has to present somehow, to share, has to share their understanding and also has to uh, present something. Okay, go on, Shiro. 
Um, good afternoon. So uh, my experience with the lead code challenges was a bit, um, for me it was a bit, I don't say it was interesting, but I I found it a little bit complicated. But first I felt like I wasn't going to like do the, the challenge. Then um, I figured out I can use um, resources like ChatGPT and find because like the goal for me was to understand what was happening and exactly how I was doing it. And that is what I was doing. And I'd spent so much time trying to figure out what I was doing. But like, because I was new to lead code, I had never used it before, I think. And I had missed the meeting for the introduction. I think I didn't know that um, we had the chance to change the language, the coding language, the preference. So I kept using C++. So yeah, I will be like, I can't wait to work on the other challenges later so that I can be able to like work on Python. And yeah, um, so I think, I don't think I can say, I can speak much of the challenges I had because most of the time I was just trying to understand what was going on with the methods and the variables and everything. But I think I'll be better by next week. Thank you. Uh, okay, so I think maybe uh, after the after presentation, after you guys presented your work, not today, but starting from next week, uh, maybe show show react or show uh, uh, show your hands if you think solving the problems together. So, for example, I'll present my screen. I'll, pre I'll open a lead code uh, code editor and. We, we we try to solve one well, like half of the questions at least after the presentation is done. So what do you think? So we, you guys will have an understanding of uh, how every everybody is thinking and also how everybody is approaching the question. So you might get new ideas and also somebody presenting might get a new idea from. Uh, as a participants, so maybe you can react if you like this idea. Maybe react with a thumbs up. Okay, I think you are missing Sheila. Okay, yes, Alin, thank you. Okay, maybe we can. We 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 will start this approach uh, starting from next week. So how it would be is we will uh, you will present so any volunteer or. So those who join the call will present, and so this I think this this is really important for you guys. So after that, we will try to solve the half of the questions at least, and we will have a discussion on the questions. So would that be? Uh, I think that would be great. So anybody else that have any uh, anything to share? Anything to add? Okay, uh, so uh, great. Uh, I think uh, we can end the session here. Maybe uh, at the, I think the document is shared for this week's week for challenge. So uh, uh, next week at this time, at same time, uh, first day at uh, at this time, which is I think one. Uh, I mean uh, ten ten uh, a.m. UTC. We'll have uh, we will have a discussion and a presentation session. So yeah, thank you guys, and yeah, happy coding. <laughs>